Hi guys, we're back with the one and only Bob Scott. We're gonna do a makeup look. We're gonna recreate something that you created for me. Yes. What are we gonna do? You were wearing this beautiful neutral gray gingham power suit. We wanted to give her some color on her eyes and I picked yeah. a lavender. Thank you for obliging. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I love any excuse to wear lavender, purple yeah. of any shade. I really love this look. It's a good party look. It's a great party look. It's really chic. Only when you get up close do you see kind of those pops of color. Mm -hmm. So you can wear this really wherever you want. So we got our base on. We did our foundation. We used our double wear concealer, double wear foundation. Powdered a tiny bit just to set everything in place. And now we're going to jump into the brow. Like I've told you, Bob is the master of all things brow. And I love that you use this one. I use this one everywhere I travel. Yeah. So. The brow multitasker. I love the chiseled tip. Whenever I go for a stronger shadow look, mm -hmm. I always like to go a little bit softer on the brow. I'm just gonna go in and fill in exactly where the gaps are as opposed to applying a base of shadow underneath all the hairs and then filling in the holes for a more impactful look. That's so clever, especially because that way it doesn't look like it's painted on. It's mm -hmm. really more of a just perfected yeah. brow feathery, hollow brow. And it's okay to leave gaps when you do this, because obviously that's what we're going for. As you reach the outer end of the tail of your brow, your brows will naturally just get a little bit more spread out there, and you can mimic that with your strokes. It took me a while to really learn the best shape of my brow and how not to overdraw and kind of make it look painted on or to pluck. Don't ever pluck. <laughs> Best approach to take is always to let them grow for as long as you can before you want to make any major changes to the shape. Otherwise, you're just going to take more hair away. I am so obsessed with brows and always wanted like that bushy, all-American Brook Shields brow. But my brows just don't grow like that. Is there anything anyone can do to kind of make your brows grow? Um, there are like growth serums out there, growth treatments. Patience is still key because you have to be consistent with those products and you have to not tweeze anything while you're using those growth serums because you just want to let your brow grow, mm. right? Bottom line is we're not all as blessed as Bob <laughs> with those brows. Most of you are. You just got to work with what you have, maximize what you have, and yeah. you know, it'll work with your face for sure. Yeah. Just please don't tweeze. Please don't tweeze. Mm -hmm. I'm going to hashtag that. Mm -hmm. Oh my hashtag God. please don't tweeze. <laughs> All right, brows are good, brows okay. are on. So let's jump right into the eyes. You know I just love to talk about brows till mm -hmm. the cows come home. Just got this palette from Anastasia, Beverly Hills, the Norvina palette. Mm -hmm. Has some awesome colors in there. Has Ooh. neutrals that are lovely, some nice pinks, and then some really beautiful blues and oh purples and you know. We're kind of in tones. this world. Like we kind I of know. matched this palette right now. Mm -hmm. <laughs> So my favorite is the celestial color. That's the one we used in the show. Yeah. And I'm gonna use a little bit of soul in there because everyone needs a little bit of soul. <laughs> celestial soul. Celestial soul. I love that. Lavender eyeshadow, yes. right? The names of beauty products are amazing. <laughs> Whoever has that job is- It's a great job. Is, has a gift. For tonight, I'm just gonna use some concealer as a base to get this eyeshadow on. Anastasia shadows have great payoff in that they're really pigmented and they stay pretty well. But if you have more oily lids, you can use a primer. Do you find primer is helpful for keeping shadows in place? Yeah, but it basically does is it makes a really tacky surface for that the eyeshadow mm -hmm. to stick to. And if you don't have a primer, you can just use a concealer. Yeah, concealer gives you the same tackiness, and as long as you just use a little bit of concealer so that you don't crease as much. And I would say if you have a hooded lid, you know, like a very like very pronounced crease, maybe go for the primer if you have a long day ahead of you or if you have a long night ahead of you. Makes sense. Because you know, <laughs> also I have a hooded, hooded, hooded lid, lid yes. and it transfers a lot. If, yeah. my, if I'm either have a long night and mm -hmm. you know, I'm hitting the dance floor and like all of a sudden my eye is supposed to be on my eyelid and now is on like the rest of my face, mm -hmm. it's not cute. So it, it does transfer if you don't have if it's not prepped the right way. I was kind of wearing a print just like this. You really it came was. inspired by Literally. the look. You are the <laughs> manifestation exactly of the look. Oh my gosh. So I'm gonna go in with a flat domed brush. Flat domed is an oxymoron, but it's true. I'm gonna take Celestial, pat a little bit off, and then just press it into the ball of the lid. It's the part close to the lash line and right before the crease. Push it in and then softly blend it out. You can take a second brush and just blend that edge. Anyone there? Oh, that's so weird. There's someone, uh, the little ding dong. Um, there's no one at the door. No one at the door? Okay, then ignore no. it. We have a ghost. Okay, here we go. So, um, Bob, what would you... <laughs> 
<laughs> okay. Bob, what would you say to someone who is maybe a little bit apprehensive to jumping into something like purple eyeshadow? Well, that's the great thing about purple eyeshadow. It's such a universal color and it, it complements literally everybody who can who tries it on. Why is that? Because it's, it's both warm and bright. So in darker or lighter skin tones, it's flattering. Soft. Yeah. If you're apprehensive about eyeshadow, try it on when you have nowhere to go. Mm -hmm. Like when you're just like Good sitting nice. at home and you feel like you want to do something creative. Start with like the burgundy tone. Start warm, right? Mm -hmm. with, with purples. Then you can come, jump into more electric, more blue based purples. Or, you know, any other purple you can think of, like Purple Mountain Majesties from Crayola. I don't know if you remember that. Yes. <laughs> um, one of my favorite colors as oh a little gosh. kid. I was like, where? Oh, that's from Pro Purple I don't know. Mountain Majesties. That sounds like that. Da, 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 that's all I'm asking. Da, da, da. Yeah, I, I, don't, I was a crayon for Halloween mm. one year. I think I was more like mustard yellow than um, okay. Purple that's Mountain Majesties. Too. Dandelion. Yeah. Maybe a little. It, dandelion. Was, it, was, it was definitely more like deli mustard style than dandelion. Was, <clears throat> when I when it comes to doing my own makeup, mm -hmm. I would look at this and get intimidated and think, what the heck do I do? With this palette, you can use these three on the top lid, just mm -hmm. all over color, right? And then take this for your inner corner and then use any of these for a little pop just along the top lash line. Very small, maybe just from the outer corner. Basically, anybody out there that sees these kind of colors and thinks, that is not for me. Don't get scared. Experiment, baby steps. In the end, it always washes off. Back to our purple. Back to Celestial. our purple. I got a base of our Celestial eyeshadow on, and now to get a little bit more impact, I'm gonna take some Set and Refresh Mist. We've gone through <laughs> bottles of this on set for Project Runway. Oh yeah. It's like hairspray for your makeup. Basically. Basically. Yeah. And I'm just pushing the eyeshadow into the ball of the lid. If I find any hard edges, I'll blend that away. So when I blend out the shape, I'm just taking my fluffy little brush and I'm going directly into the socket, like at the very edge of the eyeshadow that I was applying and just coming back and forth and pulling it out towards the brow and then up towards the top of the ear. I like a more lifted shape with the eyeshadow. So now I have small smudging brush, and I'm gonna use this to apply the eyeshadow underneath the eye, so look up. Oh, I love this look. So I'm going from the outer corner all the way in with our primary color, Celestial. And then I'm gonna take Soul, just a little bit, mixing it on the same brush, tap a little bit away. I'm going about a third or a quarter of the way in from the outer corner, and then just blending it. And I'm gonna do the same thing on the top line. I'm gonna go all the way across with this one. So now I'm going into my Estee Lauder by Violet palette. This is our blue tones. Lovely. And I'm gonna use this lovely highlight, which is a nice pewter color. Just the very inner corner, and then I'll pull it along the lash line a little bit. We're almost done with the eyes. I'm gonna take this Milk Makeup Longwear Gel Eyeliner Pencil. This is a navy color. I'm just gonna apply it very tight to the top lash line. This helps to make your lashes look thicker. It helps to add some definition to the look. And the finishing touch on the eye is always mascara. My favorite step. Love. So I'm using Estee Lauder Sumptuous Extreme and we're just gonna apply it at the very base of the lashes. You going out tonight? I am now. <laughs> this mascara is so good because it's so thick. I'll show you guys one tip that I learned about mascara and same thing with eyeliner. When you're doing the inner corner, look a little bit outward so you open your eye and then when you're doing the outer corner look the opposite direction every makeup artist backstage is always telling yeah. direct the model New look, models look left look right yes. yeah some girls can definitely read your movements and do it themselves we have like a, a telepathic connection exactly. at this point i love that lash mascara underneath i think is such a nice finishing touch yeah. with a color like purple on the lid would you say to do a more neutral lip? Yeah, with something like this, with whomever I'm working, I always ask them what your what their go-to natural lip is. Mm -hmm. So we use mm -hmm. Naked from Estee Lauder. Oh, love, yeah. this one is part of the new Violette collection, the mm -hmm. liquid matte. So when you apply it, it's liquid and then it dries more matte and it has this really kind of velvety finish. It's so love gorgeous. It. Yeah. So of course we start with lip liner. I love Spice from MAC. Everybody has their like lip liner face, yeah. right? Lip liner Where they're face. like, they just zone out and oh, they yeah. look at it and they do everything they need to to get the line just perfectly. It's one of my favorite things about watching people do their <laughs> own makeup, it's right? Like your resting lip liner face, it's like. I'm just gonna apply a little bit into the center. Mm -hmm. And then I'm gonna ask you to blend that out a little bit. Yeah. 
This, because a little bit of this goes a long way, mm. I just want to apply it in the center and then blend it out over the rest of the lip. As our last step, we're just going to apply a natural rosy cheek color. You can do this with bronzer, you can do this with like a very subtle shimmery shade. Mm. Shimmery shade. Shimmery shade. <laughs> I take the color first and I apply that to the apple of the cheek and then I'll take a little bit of the highlighter mixed with that and just come a little bit higher up here and pull that down. Make sure you wash your brushes on a weekly basis. Please. You heard it here. So once you're done, before you leave, take a picture of yourself with flash so you can see mm. any like crazy things you wouldn't have noticed. Start your selfie session. Start your selfie session. <laughs> So there you have it. You got the front to back on how to create this lavender look for yourself. Mm -hmm. Test it out. Tell us what you think. Yes. Leave a comment. How would you do it differently? How did you do it differently? Yes. You know, and we, pictures. Yes. And tag us. We want to see how you guys are wearing this, what you think about this look. Oh no, did our camera die? No, no, no. It's uh, good. Keep going. Please don't fail. Please don't fail. I think hair up or down really works with this. I agree. Anyway. Do mm -hmm. not forget to subscribe. Please. If you want more videos with this genius here, subscribe to Klossy and tell us what you want to see more of. Subscribe! Subscribe. Subscribe. Okay. Subscribe. Bye. <laughs> We're losers. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> losers, losers. Okay. Ready? Bye.